Welcome to the Seminoles.com Daily Report for Thursday, August 20th. The Seminole football team hit the practice fields Wednesday afternoon, and the focus was consistency on both sides of the ball. Yesterday, offensive coordinator Jimbo Fisher wanted to get more offensive reps to some of the young running backs like Lonnie Pryor and Tavares Presley to see how they would hold up in a full contact practice. Got to get in better condition, and you got to tote it. And you, I'm going to tell you what, when you hit it up in there now, this ain't junior college. You got to stick your nose in there and go north south because there's men on the other side, and they're coming at you. And I, he'll be all right. Just going to have to get, we'll give him enough reps to find out. I like the direction we're going, but again, we got to develop the consistency. And what I don't, you got to have the guys at every, what guy is it going to be every day? Don't be that guy today and then this guy tomorrow. And that, I mean, you're getting it done, but I don't have time to figure out who it is. I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a, brain surgeon here that can dig down in them and figure out what, what's tick making them tick that day. So uh, we just got to get a consistency more. Remember to follow all of fall practice on our Football Practice Central with great all-access interviews and daily photo galleries straight from the practice fields. Congratulations to sophomore center Solomon Alibi, who was named to the preseason Wooden Award watch list for the upcoming basketball season. He is the first Seminole to be named to this prestigious list since Corey Lewis in 1997. An all-ACC defensive team member last season, Alibi blocked 73 shots for an average of 2.1 block shots per game and became just the seventh freshman in ACC history to lead the league in block shots. Finally, congratulations to Florida State sprinter Charles Clark, who advanced out of the semifinals at the World Track and Field Championships and will compete this afternoon in the 200-meter dash finals for the World Championship. Remember, you can still purchase your tickets for Friday's football kickoff luncheon by calling the number below. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.